Hello! Welcome to StampsToDieFor.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a fun technique using re-inkers and baby wipes. First I'm going to stamp my image in and you can see there's just a little bit of the baby or the butterfly. Um, we are using the butterfly prints stamp set and I'm going to just randomly put some drops of the re-inkers. That one was Pear Pizzazz and now this one is Elegant Eggplant and I'm just randomly dropping them in kind of where that butterfly image was and it's going to create our own little custom ink pad. This is a fun way to get multi colors on your stamp without um, you know having to color. So now I'm going to take um, our Butterfly Prints Butterfly and I'm just going to dab it on there. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to stamp our butterfly. Isn't that amazing and the color you get? Now I'm going to take the Butterfly Punch which was designed specifically to punch out the butterfly. And our, our card base is um, 5 and a half by 8 folded in half and we're going to take this um, designer patterned paper. This is from our pattern stacks in the in color and I'm taking the Wisteria Wonder and I'm laying it on the uh, Elegant Eggplant cardstock. Uh, the designer paper is four by five and a quarter. For this portion of the card we're going to be using the Big Shot. Now if you don't have a Big Shot it is one of the most amazing Stampin' Up! tools that I've gotten since I've been a demonstrator actually since I started my stamping. Anyway, you have your folder and your piece of paper. You're going to put the piece of paper in between. Then you're going to sandwich it in between the plates. Now on this platform it tells you which tab you're going to need to use. And we're going to use the tab one. And we're just going to crank it through the machine. And voila! We have textured flowers. Now I'm taking that little green piece that we uh, embossed earlier and I've attached a piece of Elegant Eggplant punched with the uh, dotted scalped border punch which makes either a great uh, paper ribbon or in this case we're going to be using it um, as a little scalp coming out of the other side. Now I'm going to be using a little bit more snail than I typically use on a piece just because of the raised edges it takes a little bit more snail but remember uh, last week we talked about burnishing it so we're going to go ahead and burnish um, both the inside and the outside and that's going to give you a really good adhesiveness. We're going to take a little dimensional um, I'm going to I cut one in half here to put on the back of my butterfly and we're going to stick our butterfly on whichever flower you prefer or wherever you'd like it. Now we're going to take um, this little flower punch and we're going to punch out our little flower and take a glue dot and stick it on here and we're going to take our little ribbon. Oh, and don't you know I can't find my pearls. You know, it's always a good thing you can't see my desk when I'm doing this because you know what a stamper's desk looks like. Anyway, I'm going to use my little paper snips, kind of like a little tweezer, to take off that pearl and apply it to the center of my butterfly. Now we're going to stamp our greeting. Happy birthday. And we're going to take our large wide oval punch and we're going to just punch the greeting out. This is a very quick simple card and that's basically how I like to stamp because I'm usually in a hurry in stamping the card just as I'm going out the door for a birthday. Anyway, there you go. That's how you can make a multicolor um, image using baby wipes and re-inkers. Thanks for joining me today for baby wipes and re-inkers and how to make your own fun multicolored pad. Please visit my blog at stampstodieforcom Hope to see you there.